Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to class again, Textas. Today with you again is Habiba Aleilom. And today we want to learn how to code with our phone using an amazing app known as Treb Edit. Treb Edit is, very, is, free, is a free tool and very beginner friendly. All right? See, you don't need to wait until you own a laptop before you start your tech journey as an aspiring web developer you don't need to wait at all start with what you have with you currently then you can progress as time goes on all right so let's get started first thing is to go to google play store to download treb edit search for treb edit as i've spelled it earlier and then download it that install it all right having done that the next thing you need to do is launch that app and then create your project so when you open a treb edit app this is what the home page looks like so this is what the home page looks like just come down here and click on menu when you click on menu click on workspace so you want to create a new workspace for your project so this is where to create your work this is where to create your new project there is one here inside the phone or it is an inbuilt from the app producer themselves all right so you come to plus icon here and click on new project when you click on new project you name it whatever you want to name it you can just say my tech journey or whatever name you want to give it all right so when you open so now you have created a project my tech journey let's open that folder and then we want to open different files in it now but as a beginner the first thing you want to learn is html so you come down here to this plus icon again but this time around you want to click on new file click on new for new file and give it whatever name you want to give your file you can just say code with Habiba. Or whatever. You can just say my first code or anything. So I'm just using the I'm just using these as an example for you. You're going to learn the right word to you each time later as you learn, inshallah. But it must come because it is an HTML, it must come with this extension H. So it must be dot H T M L. So if it is a CSS file that you want to create, it must come with .css. If it's a JavaScript file, it must come with .js, all right? So now, click on Save to create it. You have created your file successfully. When you click on this HTML file, so it's going to take you to the code editor. So this is your current code editor. And one beautiful thing about Treb Edit is that it auto saves only if you uncheck it. It is it comes naturally as to be auto saved, but there is a setting where you can uncheck it. But I don't know why you want to uncheck it. So it's better it auto saves for you. Then each time you want to view your project, you just come here, click on display icon, and then you're going to see whatever you have, whatever code you have written. You're going to see the outcome here in your browser. So anytime you want to submit an assignment in the support group, make sure you show me the screenshot of this code page and your browser page. So I must see the code you wrote and the results it gives you. All right. Then what are the, there are some features inside this Treb Edit app. It comes with a lot of uh html element that once you just click on it it's going to give you whatever you want then you can start writing from scratch as well the most beautiful one here is this html snippet once you click on this html snippet down here it's going to generate all the html basic structure for you so it's going to generate the html snippet for you the, everything that must be inside every html file so this is the basic so it's after you have all this i'm going to explain the essence of each of these 
in our class when we start decoding properly but for now this is just how to use this tool uh -huh. so you need to get used to it so inside body let's say i want to create an heading and i can just say h2 and then put um let me see my first web page and whatever i've written here now i will see the outcome here my first web page so if you have done this and it is not showing here then something is wrong so now your assignment is do this little thing that i did by Clicking on the HTML snippet is going to generate this for you. Write this exact thing that I wrote here to have this H2. This angular bracket H2 by the closing angular bracket is going to generate the closing tag for you automatically. Then you write your my first web page. So for those using their iPhone to go along with us, I know most of you will be using Coda app note that coda app will not generate the closing tag for you so you may need to uh write that yourself which is the angular bracket forward slash h2 then the closed angular bracket all right so to prove that okay you've been able to open this app successfully and you can now write whatever code i'm training you to write inside it send a screenshot and this the results the web page screenshot, the browser screenshot, send everything to the group. All right, see you in the next class. Bye.